Hello and welcome. My name is Campbell and this is Spiral Up, where we talk about practical everyday things we can use to improve our lives and get more of what we want. And today I wanted to talk about the concept of being proud, uh, because it's not something we hear a lot about much anymore, is it? Um, but when we, you know, talk about, uh, you know, the past and about tribal people and things, you know, that they're often described as being very proud people, you know, proud of who they are, proud of their heritage. And it's something that seems to have been lost in our society. So let's have a little chat about being proud of who you are. So what does proud mean? And by the way, if you can see, uh, one of my eyes is red. It's got something in it yesterday when I was working on my bus. So yeah, it's, that's why I've got my glasses on. Just hide, hide it a little bit. Uh, so the word proud, what does the word proud mean? Uh, well, late old English, it means excellent, splendid, arrogant, haughty, having of cheerish or high opinion, of one's own merits. Uh, next to that it says guilty of the sin of pride, which is obviously, this is a uh, part of the, you know, the spell, the script, that's telling us that we shouldn't be proud of who we are. And of course, where does that come from? Guilty of the sin of pride? Uh, yeah, it comes from one of those establishments that uh, tell us that they are affiliated with God, shall we say. Um, it's from Old French, oblique, uh, brave and valiant. Uh, from brave man, it also has uh, the root of being ahead of, in front, uh, as in chief before first, and also from pride, of course, and prowess. Uh, so it's got a lot to do with actually uh, having the skills and being good at what you do and being proud of that. And you see, to be proud of something, you need to put the work into it. And I think this is a big thing that is lacking uh, today in our society is, is this whole concept of people expect to just get chances given to them, um, opportunities, and to not really have to do the work um, for these opportunities. You see, we all get given opportunities all the time, constantly, but unless we're ready for them, unless we're prepared and we've already done the work, then they're not opportunities because we won't be able to do anything with them. So this is, uh, you know, prowess, obviously we think of it to do with, uh, more to do with physical activities and sports, but the same thing. You know, if you, if you're a good tennis player and you're naturally good, but you just sit there and, and think, well, I'm just good, and you don't put in the time and effort that other players are, other players that may not have as much natural, abil uh, natural ability, then when it comes time and you get caught up to try out for the state team or whatever, you haven't put the work in, so you won't get on the state team. The people who have been putting the work in every day um, so that they're ready for the opportunity and so that they're creating so that they're building their prowess, they are the ones that will have the opportunity. They'll be able to seize it and, and do something with it. So proud has a lot to do with, you know, building up your character, building up qualities in yourself and, and also value. You know, the more value you can give, you know, if you're good at something, you know, we all know the, the, the thing that there's, you know, there's good mechanics and bad mechanics. There's good craftsmen, bad craftsmen, good artists, bad artists. And so who are the ones who do the best? The good ones. So if you put the work in and you become proud of your work and you become something, uh, someone that, that, you know, you can stand there and say, I did this and I'm proud of it, then, then you're standing in your power. And the thing is, we're taught so much, you know, from a young age that we shouldn't do this, that we shouldn't be proud of what we do. You know, little kids, they, they do a painting at school and they run home and they tell their mum and dad and they want it put on the fridge because they're so proud of it. 
and that's what we are naturally. But as we grow up, we just get taught, no, that's that's a, it's a sin, right? Pride is a sin. You shouldn't do that because they try and tell us that what being proud of yourself is is um, saying that you're better than other people, but that's got nothing at all to do with it. Okay, you can have a family of proud people, a society of proud people, a group of proud people. It's got nothing to do with putting yourself above anyone else. It's got to do with the fact that you understand that you've done the work and you're you're proud that you've put that effort in and that you've got results. And that is something that needs to come back because it's it's looked on as, as not a good thing in our society to be proud and to be proud of your heritage. You know, everyone says, you know, obviously they're proud of their family. But really, do we walk around like we're proud of our family? Do we, you know, do we go into fight for for them all the time and, and stand up? And do we teach that good ethical foundation so that we can be proud of our family? Because, you know, everyone says that, you know, obviously, you know, they love their family, they love their kids and that. But most people... When it comes to a situation, you know, and they're, and they're confronted and people question them and their ethics and their values, most people don't, you know, stand up 100% for themselves and their values and, and in a proud way and say, no, oh, you know, this is who I am, this is what I've done, and your opinion means nothing. That doesn't happen. You know, we, we're so, we take on board other people's opinions of us far too easily because Opinions are just opinions. Opinions aren't facts. Opinions are just random thoughts, really. And the thing about opinions is that they don't even come from the people you hear them from. You know, our opinions, that, that we think are our opinions, aren't really ours. They've been given to us by society, by the MSN, by advertising, by peer groups. You know, we're told not to step out the line. This is reality. That's you know, that's what we're given. When in reality, we should be proud of achievements. And we should also be, you know, not proud of ourselves when we stuff up, when we make mistakes. That's another problem, is, you know, people get so offended. Uh, and, and when you get offended, you can't learn a lesson. And so we should be proud of the things that we do well, but we should definitely also make sure that we're keeping an eye out that when we do things wrong, that, that we improve on the, on them, that we put the work in so that next time we can be proud of them. Because this is how we grow. This is, you know, there's no mistakes, right? They're just mistakes. And and so this is where we find ourselves in 2021. Um, and we can see what's going on in, in the wider picture is, you know, people are being attacked for, for who they, for what they believe, you know, for their morals and ethics and where they stand in, in their belief systems. And that is completely wrong. You know, free speech, freedom, that is our birthright. That is what we have. And people who try and take that away, uh, what they're trying to do is they're, they're trying to gag you and they're trying to make you... They can only do that if you're not proud of yourself, is what I'm trying to say, I think. Um, they work us down so that we think that we don't have the right to stand up and protest, to stand up and talk, to stand up and have free speech and give our opinions on whatever and you know that there's people this has been um you know this has been a program that's been put in to, to lower our, our self-esteem the self-esteem of our children to make us not proud of who we are and where we come from and what we stand for and everything is questioned and it's like if you believe in this well that means that you must automatically be this or if you don't believe in this you must automatically be this which is bad right so you can't be proud of yourself for your beliefs anymore. Everyone wants to, you know, put you in a box. And this is a problem. <laughs> this is a big problem. Uh, this is something that needs to stop. Obviously, um, it will be fine, guys, but it's going to get a bit crazy over the next few months. But ultimately, we need to be proud of who we are. We need to stand our ground, our ground stand in our power, and be proud of, of where we've come from, of the decisions we've made, because that's ultimately uh, what's made us. The decisions we've made is is what's made us who we are today um, and the actions we've taken, and we should be proud of that. Um, unless you're out there doing the wrong thing, of course, then you should make a change and be proud of the change. And like I said, it's a journey, so don't worry about the, the mistakes. Just They're just mistakes. 
Uh, you just do, do it again and be prouder of, of your next effort and prouder of your next effort. And be proud. Be proud of yourselves, guys. I mean, seriously, you made it, you know. I mean, just to make it here, right? Um, in this time, you know, you've got to be doing something right. And to have got through the last, you know, 50 years uh, in this, um, you know, spell we find ourselves in, we're all doing pretty well. You know, because it hasn't been easy, but we are at a point where things are changing. Obviously, things have changed in the sky with the stars and the ages and all this kind of stuff. So, and you've probably noticed that even even though uh, free speech has is now a no-no, you've probably noticed that the tone and the words um, of what a lot of people are saying, probably a lot of people that you're watching are saying, has changed very, very quickly, and and they all seem to have be saying the same thing and it's all to do with you know love loving each other um, community sharing being proud of who we are creating better things and new systems that work for us um, you know this is coming in guys you know it, it's out with out with the fish in with the man pouring the water um, we've gone from water maritime law to ether air spirit well, we have more control. And of course, we can see this in the larger landscape with, you know, the whole, you know, clouds, you know, Wi-Fi, all this stuff. You know, we're going into, a, um, I don't know, a techno-spiritual age, would you call it? You know, we're going to be a lot more spiritual than that, but we're going to have tech. The tech will change, but we're going to have a lot of tech, um, good tech, free tech, uncensored tech. So, so understand that and understand that the reason we've got here is because of all of us and we need to all be proud of that and proud of the, you know, the efforts and the contributions we've made to creating this new world. And like I said, whatever you, whatever it is you do, you know, be proud of the efforts. And unless you haven't put a good effort in, be proud of your efforts, be proud of who you are, of who you've become, because who you've become is 100% because of you and, and your decisions, no one else. Everyone else just tries to make you make different decisions. So, so be proud of that. Be proud of who you are. And if there's things that you're not proud of that you want to change in your life, guys, change them. That's, 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 that's simple. It's a decision. Um, it's not necessarily easy, but it's simple. Uh, and, and the more you work on it, you know, and you might not get there the first time. Uh, think of a duck taking off when it's sitting on a pond. It starts to fly and it runs and it hits the air, then it hits down the water again. It gets in the air, hits the water again. It gets in the air, hits the water again. So it goes up, down, up, down before it actually hits flight. And we can be the same. You know, we can start something and then come back down and have a bit of a fail. Then try it again, come back down and have a bit of a, a fail. As long as we keep trying and going back up again, then we will eventually soar. It's when we stop trying and when we give up that that we break that cycle and, and uh, we deem ourselves to say where we are basically with that pattern of our lives. So, um, yeah, guys, be proud of yourselves. You know, we, we're an amazing creation. We're an amazing uh, species. We're an amazing being, whatever you want to call us. And we've done some amazing things. And this world, I'm sure you've worked out, you know, the 99% are, are good, are love, are heart-centered. They want the best. It's just unfortunate that the nefarious uh, parasitic element, the very small, you know, probably less than 1%, has gained control for the last, you know, a couple of hundred years at least. Uh, but that's all coming to an end, okay? We, we get our Earth back. We get the world back and we get to make it whatever we want to make it. So, so be proud of who you are. Stand in your power. Walk proud. You know, shoulders back, head up. That's what they used to say. Uh, yeah, and, and, and show that proudness. Show it to your kids, to your family, to other people. If people question you, stand your ground. Because uh, we really need to, this this whole, you know, social justice warrior thing of, of just attacking people for their ethical stands uh, has to stop. You know, we have to come together and learn from each other, not try and silence each other. So... Be proud, guys. I'm proud of you, and you should be proud of you too. And, you know, teach your kids to be proud. Teach everyone to be proud. Um, and, and understand that people make mistakes. 
and you know people say oh, I'm not proud of what I did well that's fair enough do something again that will, will make you proud of what you did you know we, we we get to we get new opportunities every day you know the sun rises every morning and you get to do with that whatever you want and the more we think about it the more we make the effort the better decisions we make and ultimately that gives us better results in our lives and more of what we want so there you go guys uh, the power's in you so look inside yourself because there is greatness in there thanks for spending some time with me and i'll talk to you all on the next upload bye for now Thank you.